In the world of exports and imports, cargo ships and cargo planes are frequently used for transportation. But have you ever wondered how they compare to each other? And how the biggest cargo ship in the world differs from the biggest ever cargo airplane? And which one should be used? And when should it be used? Before we answer all these questions, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so as to not miss any further updates. Let's take ever a lot, the giant container ship and compare it to the Antonov AN-225 Maria, the largest cargo aircraft in the world, which was recently destroyed in the Ukraine war. In terms of capacity, of course, the container ship is incomparable as it can carry more than 150,000 tons of cargo, while the Antonov can only carry 250 tons of cargo. However, Antonov is the perfect choice if the cargo load is smaller and the transit time needs to be less. Delays are much more common for sea freight and sometimes delays can even last for weeks. For dangerous cargo, shipping containers are preferred as strict airport regulations can prevent you from transporting cargo such as gases, flammable products, toxic or corrosive items and magnetic substances. In that case, opting for container ships is far more safer and cheaper as they have specialized IMDG containers to carry different types of hazardous cargo. The aircraft had an overall size that stretched as far as a football field from nose to tail and wingtip to wingtip and a maximum takeoff weight of up to 1.32 million pounds. It had a wingspan of 290 feet and a length of 275 feet, which is around 88 by 84 meters. Whereas MV Everalot is so large that three football fields could be laid end to end on her deck. The ship has a huge cargo carrying capacity and it can carry 48,000 cars at once or 225 million bananas if fully loaded. It is understood that the Antonov AN-225 Maria will cost around 2.5 billion US dollars to rebuild. And on the other hand, the ship Everalot costed 145 million US dollars to build. The operation cost of the ship Everalot is a lot cheaper than Antonov. There is variation in the cost differences between air freight and sea freight as it depends largely on what you are shipping. As a general rule, the lighter your cargo, the less cost difference between the plane freight and sea freight. This is because the capacity of planes is typically limited by weight and the capacity of sea freight by volume. Transporting cargo by ship is more cost effective if it is heavier. Antonov is the only aircraft that featured six most powerful turbofan engines in the world. A single engine weighing 13 tons, each of which can produce a maximum thrust of 229.5 kN. The AN-225 Maria can fly at a maximum speed of 850 km per hour. On the other hand, the ship Everalot is powered by a Win GD 11X 92B main engine, which is considered to be the most efficient engine for larger container vessels. That is rated at 58,600 kilowatts and drives the ship at speeds up to 22.5 knots. Even though air freight has made great strides in technology, it still leaves a bigger carbon footprint than ocean freight. CO2 emissions are much higher when cargo is transported by air. The Everalot engine, the X92B, has been designed to be used as dual fuel engine. 
that is using both traditional fuel and LNG fuel, hence reducing the carbon footprint. This engine has been considered to be less polluting than the other ship engines. Did you know which is the biggest cargo ship ever built? Let us know in the comments and for more such information follow Marine Insight.